lights and swearing. I've never seen that. Dude, that's wild. That is so funny. The What a legend! He snuck in something that canonly wouldn't even happen in the magazine. <laughs> Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And I actually have the dog from Nickelodeon Magazine in my collection. Like, actually, to be honest, she's way cuter than that dog, though. She was a journalist on a lot of those magazines, too. Was she? Number one writer. How do you think they came up with all those brain feeders? So accomplished. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you guys know the drill. Nickelodeon Magazine, flip! Parents want you to have fun. They know Nick Magazine is good for a healthy brain. And when you ask nicely, parents can help you. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Red Pack, because your boy is here. Today, we're gonna be having fun. Don't you wanna have fun? I always wanna have fun. So do your parents. Your parents want you to have fun, too. I doubt it. Love that advertising, though, like, your parents want you to have fun, don't they? But I mean, Nickelodeon Magazine was a huge part of my childhood, and it was a huge part of your guys' childhood as well, so that's why we had to do the Nickelodeon Magazine flip. And today, we have a video where we're gonna be going through some old Nickelodeon magazines, reacting to the stuff that we see inside of there, the advertisements, some of the stuff they did, and then just a wild magazine. It's such a fun journey through time going through these things. We already did one video a while ago on ADHD's life back when that channel was that. And it was us going through the magazines, but it was a little bit faster. I can't wait to go through it now a little bit more structured and get into these. I have a collection of Nickelodeon magazines already, but I haven't looked through all of them. And maybe we'll go through some of those one days too, but I wanted to start fresh with some brand new ones in this one. And we're gonna be adding some of those to the collection. And once we go through the entire magazine, as we go through each one, we're gonna be putting it inside of a protective sleeve and then also adding it into one of our jumbo divider sleeves so we can add it over here into the documents folder. So it's gonna be fun archiving all these magazines. I hope some of them are in great condition. Gonna look through them, protect them, collect them. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see, we got a lot of eBay tape on. I got this whole lot on eBay. <laughs> Takes off all the eBay tape. <laughs> no, I didn't even open. That's just like my whole life. I visually did everything, but yet I'm still there. Oh, there we go. Actually, I did open it. Surprising myself constantly, breaking the molds. But let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, honestly, if I grab them all out, it's gonna reveal them all. So we'll grab them out one at a time and go through them. Like I said, pack them up, collect them, all that stuff. And shout out to Ryan, who actually came up with the idea for this video where like basically wanted me to do it. And if you guys don't know, Ryan edits all the videos on this channel. And not just that, he actually recently had a surgery. So if you guys can put get well soon in the comments for Ryan, that would be absolutely awesome. And also I'm gonna be taking a little break for a couple little days as well. So it's like, I'm sorry if the videos have been a little streamlined right now. It's a lot of videos to make, but I have so much fun doing them. It's not a problem, but it does take some time. But thank you to Ryan for recommending the video. I can't wait to get into it. So let's do it. All right, so this one's gonna be a banger. Don't have this in the collection. Oh, and the condition Ooh. looks good. Boom! We have the SpongeBob Happy Birthday magazine. This is the dog. That's the dog I was talking about. There he is. <laughs> Save me a piece. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is all chocolate. You'll be dead. <laughs> so this is for SpongeBob's 10th birthday, but this magazine in particular actually came with a card that you could only get in this magazine. There's a postcard. With I a, remember that. Yeah, with a like refractory image. I don't have it in the room right now, but Somebody in fan mail actually sent me the cards. I'm so glad that I have it. We're gonna pop this whole magazine open, but dude, the guy who ordered this, his name was Nicholas. He's ordering Nick Magazine, his name is Nicholas. <laughs> but dude, you're gonna love the backside of this. Check this I... out. Okay, let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> the Duelist League? This that is, is awesome. This is back in the day when you could go to Toys R Us, KB Toys, and you could actually play Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon or at the places, and you would play these tournaments, dude, and you'd actually get, like for Pokemon, you get badges, and for Yu-Gi-Oh! He probably got something. I don't know what. He got prize cards. That's like some real Seto Kaiba shit. Yeah. You got a, oh, yeah. This is a prize card. Yeah. It's not what I'm calling it. The brand is called this a prize like, card. So, like, when you did, like, local tournaments like that, you know, you could sometimes get booster packs or whatever, or, like, maybe get vouchers for a Toys R Us. But if you did anything bigger, you started to get prize packs that they made wow. for tournaments. How much are those things going for these days? Probably, like, can go anywhere from the hundreds to, like, low really? to mid four figures. Like, just for the packs. That's insane. Insane. Did you ever experience one of those tournaments like in real life? I did actually. Wow. I uh, I never went to any of the Pokemon ones. Okay, so just looking at the cover, we got Timmy, we got Debbie, we got Hot Dog Guy. And, but let's go ahead and get into it. First page we've got right here, dude. Already some nostalgia. We got Lisa Frank. Wow. They actually did a SpongeBob collab. 
too. Really? Yeah, they have a Lisa Frank SpongeBob collab, which I would love to have any of the advertisement pieces from that, but freaking sick. But we're gonna start looking through the magazine. We got our whole syllabus right here. We're gonna start looking through the magazine and whatever things fun we find, we're gonna check it out with you guys. But you guys are gonna see all the pages turned with us. That's that slime cake that kid made in the commercial. That was a big hit. And then next page we're into, dude, this is so freaking ridiculous how quick we can find stuff. We got the freaking advertising for Spy Kids 3D. We did the whole unboxing for all the toys from Burger King on this channel. But dude, there's freaking Junie on the freaking Tony. But dude, look at these kids' mouths. That is such 2000s advertisement. Dude, I remember, I feel like I remember that exact photo. Just like their mouth and like that slice of pizza. I remember that. Yeah, man, that pizza looks good. I told you, man, whoever draws pizza is always the best. I've never had a pizza just freaking. <laughs> it's like Scooby Doo, they got that string cheese. All right, next up, we got <laughs> Walmart Escape. <laughs> so in case you just happen to not really enjoy prom or the date involved, you can always escape. <laughs> well, why don't your hands on my back? Shut up. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> escape. Man, this red light's taking forever. Come on. Escape. Right now, you think I'm in the real world. I'm in Super Mario world, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the only way you can talk to me is through a link cable. <laughs> Dude, check this out. They have the e-reader too. Oh my god, I feel like we're not gonna be able to get through one freaking magazine. Oh man, dude, this is awesome. It's a girl groove you got on. Uh, is that Kiki Palmer? But dude, I didn't even notice this. Her shirt is actually Buttercup. And the reason I stopped this because Y2K like merchandise is like huge right now. And I'd say like Powerpuff Girl stuff seems to be like the forefront of it, along with like Hello Kitty and whatnot. So that's an awesome full page advertising. And just to show you, Nickelodeon, they were just taking the checks. So at the end of the day, they're like, I don't care if this Cartoon Network is. Disney, you give us some money, you get in the mag. <laughs> oh, so this magazine probably didn't come with the card. Newsstand edition of this issue came with the card. So if you wanted to get the card with your basic store bought one, you gotta send in a dollar fifty. Dude, you should do it. I already have that card. But still, they gotta honor it the way I see it. It's like a rare card for a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty in 2002. That's like a million dollars now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I love me some Justice. <laughs> right here, we have the original Justice League, man. This is my Superman right here. Freaking Henry Cavill, get out of here. The only thing that's missing from this is Static Shock flying in the background in that <laughs> spin-off episode. Like, honestly, this was some of the greatest, like, Justice League media there was. Oh my god, my favorite scene is when he's fighting Darkseid. Yes! And he's like, I'm always holding myself in control. Never allowing myself to lose control, even for a moment, or someone could die. <laughs> like, what? Like, oh my You're god. Like, Damn, he was dude. playing before? Murder she wrote. Freaking insane episode. Oh, it's gonna be hard getting through these magazines, man. We might be able to get through like two in this video. I'm not even sure. That was the same thing that happened the last time, too. I ended up with a bunch of magazines you never went through because it was just so much. Wait, 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 wait. Daddy! Daddy Wario! What <laughs> the? Hang in with the bling bling king. The only bling bling I know is his bling bling from Johnny Test. Oh my god, dude. This is DJ Khaled's like, white cousin. <laughs> Dude, there's American Idol's first number one winner, Justin Gardini. That's not even the first American Idol winner. Oh, he was second place. Number one was, was Kelly King? Clarkson, his wife. Where is he at now? He's married to the number one. He was like, you know He's what? He's married to Kelly Clarkson? He was at least, but he was like, hey, I got second place, but I can always take first place. Kelly Clarkson. I should take a chance. Justin Gardini. Next girl's special. In the musical event of the summer. Dude, this is back when they put musician next to actor for Will Smith. And he's still a musician, man. He sold 100,000 records. That was Kirsten once. A hundred thousand? A hundred million or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds like, that's all right. <laughs> Okay, here's a tutorial on how to make the Nickelodeon birthday cake. And dude, I remember Rainbow Fruit Loops when they had the multiple colors like that. I do. It always reminded me of Beetlejuice. It reminded me of those like candy peach rings. Oh, dude, are the freaking uh, fruit roll up stacks? The oh. little like circles you'd like make into sandwiches? Yeah. <laughs> I just remember the advertising like, I'm crazy. I'm going to the deep depths of the earth to find out what makes Fruit Loops so fruity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in the next. Oh, so we have the double feature movie show. It actually has Tarzan and Buzz Lightyear. It was on Toon Disney Channel. Oh, look, you got Peter Pan there. Parker, that's not Peter Pan, it's ah. Robin Hood. Look, I tried. Yeah, I saw the little feather and I was like, yeah, Peter Pan. Man. Who's this? Bro, you don't... Oh, that's, uh, Cusco. Yeah, okay, who's this? Is that Lady in the Tramp? 
That's the Aristocat. But over here we have some drawings. If you guys have ever been featured in a Nickelodeon magazine before, I want you guys to contact me on Instagram. I think that would be a really fun little like thing to add to the video. But over here we have all the different things people have made. You know, Nickelodeon magazine related, Nickelodeon themed and whatnot. All right, let's go. Oh man, I was just gonna say, Jennifer Gardner was in here back when she was still Electra. That's crazy because they both got married too. I gotta get into the acting business. <laughs> <laughs> marry some of these honeys. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, it's like back in the 2000s, it was like, Hey, you know, we kissed in that movie. How about we just, this is a real life. We just keep doing this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, next one. So I was wrong. I was incorrect. I thought it was for SpongeBob's 10th anniversary. It was actually for Nickelodeon Magazine's 10th anniversary because over here it has all the celebrities celebrate our birthday. So these guys all sent in like, you know, I'm sure their PR teams did too. But <laughs> right here we got Tom Kenny. I love this one. It says, may your subscription never expire. <laughs> Best of which is Tom Kenny. Then over here we got Butch Hartman. Happy 10th Nick make a wish. I, I can't lie. He like has great handwriting and his signature like beautiful. The whole thing is beautiful. And then over here we got Shaquille O'Neal. Happy 10th. Aaron Carter before the face tats, man. You're gonna go. Kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But look at that guy right there. What Harry Potter is in right now filming. <laughs> this would bring Goblet of Fire or something like that. Happy B-Day, Nick. Oh, it unfolds. Oh. Weird Al Yankovic. Wow. You rock my world. Happy 10th birthday. <laughs> oh, dude. Yes. Junie. Oh, yeah. dude. I I love how Junie is like center freaking magazine. He might as well be freaking Viacom. He's married to Megan Trainer. How do you know who all these people are married to? I don't know. I just like the idea of marriage. We got like the whole Harry Potter cast doing things over here. Oh, we got Prime, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, dude! We got the creator of Mario, Mr. Miyamoto, right here. That's actually pretty crazy. Oh my God. When you see this, you're gonna be like, you know what, that makes so much sense. You're not gonna believe who wrote 10th anniversary. I, saw the, I thought I saw that first name. Is it Lenny Kravitz? No, better. Most associated brand with all of Nickelodeon DVD history. Ready for this. You are kidding <laughs> me. You know what, they were like, a series of unfortunate <laughs> events. That's the Squidward doing the thing of Nick Magazine. Like Lemony that, Snicket. I mean, you don't know the Lemony Snicket reference. It's just that like literally like pretty much like every movie from like 2003 to like 2006 for some reason has a Lemony Snicket trailer. Oh, legend! We got Craig McCracken, one of my favorite people of all oh, time. He's created literally so many classics as part of my childhood. We got Craig McCracken, the legend, right there. Dang, get oh, the underpants! No, 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 no. oh. Gotta show all the respect. Moment of silence, uh. the legend. Steven Hillenberg actually did get in there. And he actually wrote, what does that say? Happy... Does that swear? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> he drew plays and swears. I've never seen that. Dude, that's wild. That is so funny. What a legend. He snuck in something that canonly wouldn't even happen in the magazine. <laughs> what a freaking king. That is amazing, man. Moment of silence for the king. Legend. That was amazing. All right, so we got this awesome freaking artwork. I would love to see this thing framed. We got Jimmy down here. We got Ginger. We got all of these guys. I think a lot of these are like Nick original characters that were like, they're part of buffers and stuff like that. We got Zoidberg over here. <laughs> Why not Zoidberg? <laughs> all right, let's keep it moving. Okay, so right here we have some Nick original magazine, like comics. Then over here, whoo, you know I love whenever I can get some Nick original. Dude, this is an expansion on the Doodle Bob episode. You know how the guy was on the, the boat? And actually, the person on that boat is actually Mr. Lawrence, who voices Plankton. My pencil! But these are two people on a shore, and it says, I bet SpongeBob never saw characters like these before. And they drew like these crazy characters. I wouldn't even be surprised if these were submitted by actual people who draw into Nickelodeon magazine. And then they get it out. I mean, I don't want to reveal the whole magazine. You're gonna have to pause it if you guys want to read the whole thing here. But man, that's an expansion on it. I love any additional SpongeBob content. It's a nice short one too. Yes. <laughs> Dude, you know, that doesn't make sense. Hillary Duff, she's lucky to get a guy like Frankie Muniz. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't even saying it like that. I just feel like the iconicness to have Hillary Duff and freaking Frankie Muniz. Like, there's nothing more 2000s than that. True. Uh, but there we go. We got 2000s vibe. But then over here, we have another Jimmy Neutron original comic book. I love it because you can consider this canon within Nickelodeon's universe because it's in the Nick Mac. Oh, wow. That show does not get a lot of like representation, I guess. It doesn't. But they actually did recently 
actually released the whole DVD series. So that's a little something, but not something. too much. Oh, wow. This was the premiere. So if you want to know when it premiered, it was August 1st, 9 p.m. But that is freaking amazing, And man. what year is this magazine? Do we know? 2003. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You were young back then. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go get a job. <laughs> Dude, why do you have a Zulu tribe freaking necklace on? That's like back in those days when like white kids did the front like a wave on their hair. <laughs> like, I remember there was like 60 kids in our school that had like the swoop in the front. They couldn't brush their hair forward enough and then just a little, like a little skateboard <laughs> ramp. ramp. And then have like a shark tooth necklace. <laughs> you ain't tribal. You hit the like button. Oh yes, these are just called Zowers, guys. If you guys don't remember Zowers, these are like Mike and Ike, but on meth. They were like <laughs> super, guy. super sour, but I don't really know why they didn't stay around. My favorite was the watermelon one. Dude, those were so good. Oh, oh, oh! We got the freaking Aquatic Amigos cards. You guys know I love these. I've already gone through these before. They even had like a whole game to kind of get you involved with the cards, so you could really remember those cards when you saw them in the stores. My mind is blown right now. Parker turned it to this. He's like, who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you kind of met like with that woman? She should be with Derek. And life is, that was her stepbrother. And they kind of had like a really, they were step siblings, but there was a lot of uncomfortable, like sexual tension in that show between them. Huh. Ryan, play a clip of some sexual tension. <laughs> no way. Oh, yes way. Bother you? Not at all. <laughs> But I never knew, because this right here is the You Pick live cast. They would have this, this guy, her, and also I think Pick Boy would come up on screen, or Pick Boy. Of course. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, we're, we're not. Hey, wait, what are you doing? I'll be back. All right, so that's freaking awesome. A little bit of a brain blast, you know. <laughs> Proud child of a former honor student. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna put this on my car. My mom was an honor student. I want people to know. I want people to know that. Over here, we got a Blue's Clues fan safety thing sponsored by Ford. And we have Joe in blue right there. That is so awesome. If I had that card, I would frame this and I would put that in the car. This is insane. Look at all these mazes. Got them. Shut up. What? That was easy. I kind of forgot when they used to have floats at Burger King, but they have the floats right here. We're getting towards our end of this magazine and then we're going to go through one more. But I always thought we were going to go through all of these. There's no way. There's no, no way. There's no, we will never just go through <laughs> all a single stack. Yeah. Oh, you thought that those kids on the other side look sour. Look at this guy. He looks like young Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Gabriel Iglesias. Here's Amy Poehler. Here's Trisha Tatish. Man, these guys grew up quick. But man, they got this kid who's wrote about camp. You know, I love the community though and the kids and like, you know, the fact that it's like, it was, it was so kid centric. But then you got down here, always a dog chiming in. Anyone need a pot holder? What? <laughs> it probably relates to the series, but this is that dog. I mean, whoever wrote for that dog, man, they got their, their licks in. Oh yes, right here we have the iconic Soak Up the Flavor SpongeBob Original. This is the one nobody talks about nearly enough. This one, of course, is iconic on the channel. Oh, the original rapper. I have been looking for this original rapper to add to the collection over in the Gleg Grub for quite some time, but I cannot find that original rapper. I do have found some of the older ones, but not that green one. And then right here, I would love to get a box of these two because I used to down these things. <laughs> I'm worried about your diet as a child. <laughs> I would just... <laughs> like any candy, you're like, oh, I was eating those. And uh, any popsicle, them. I was downing those. Dude, I had such an unhealthy addiction to sugar. I mean, it looks like it turned out fine. Did it? <laughs> you know, like, all that cable television and sugar at a high speed rate. What are we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, blue carrot apple jack. That's such a crazy ad, too. It's just like, this is gonna show you what the future of minimalism looks like. What else do you need? Dude, that's, that's the August calendar. This is a big deal. I think. I remember I used to always turn to this page when I was a kid and try to like find out what celebrity was born on one day because for some reason that was interesting. All right, we're on our last pages here. I don't see anything that we need to stop too Amanda much Amanda Bynes. But this is a snapshot of her career right here. You got to respect it. This is not a snapshot of her whole career. Um, RIP to Amanda Bynes. She's not dead, but I mean, one could say. Maybe Dude, the it. Amanda show is like only three years. Yeah. Shout out to Amanda Bynes. I miss when she was back in this era. I mean, I know she's going through some stuff nowadays and whatnot, but I'll never forget she's the man amanda Bynes. so this shows you what's new on nick we got us told by ginger over here freaking
in uh, Jimmy Neutron the movie render Cindy along with some more Jenny over here on this side. All right, so right here we got the Tech Deck Firefoot right here, which I don't even remember these, but I guess this is like like the rails they're advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sparking trucks. Are they really sparking trucks? What? So when you grind it on them, and then it sparks. That is so sick in 2000s. If I would have known that was a thing I was a kid, I definitely would have had them. No, I definitely would have started a fire. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know they existed. And then, oh wow, this is fun. Of these three, who is it? That's Sean William Scott for sure. You know what though? I could see that being Jim Carrey. But yeah, based off the nose, I think it's Sean William Scott. Over here, who do you think that is? Oh, that is clearly Miss <laughs> Mandy Moore. And the eyes and the, and the nose tell me Mandy Moore. All right, we'll find out at the end of this magazine. Oh, dude, this is a ride they used to have at Universal Studios, Nickelodeon's Jimmy Neutron Cartoon Blast. Dude, I actually had an opportunity to get one of the direction signs that shows you where the ride was from Universal Studios, and I didn't pick it up, and I regret it for so much. It was $700, though. I can see why. I mean, that's a lot, but at the same time, that you'll never find that again. I know. I, whoever got that thing, I mean, hit me up, but at the same time, that's a good piece. But right here, we got, you know, classic SpongeBob DVDs. We've got all of these in the collection. And then, finish it up right here, which you could basically write whatever you'd wanted to say. I used to love reading the magazines they had at the library because kids would always write like sometimes funny stuff. And our last page, we already checked that out. And that is the Yu-Gi-Oh! front page. We have a Summon School, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Literally, they try to fit every iconic monster on the front. <laughs> like, like, they basically geez. did. Yeah, that's insane. But that is our first magazine. I really thought we were going to get through more. We're I gonna... feel like three years younger. If but... I felt three years younger, I'd be dead. What? I feel like I'm two. Oh. But we're going to put this in the protectors, all stuff. We're going to through one more because this video is going to be long already. And we're going to have to save the next ones for a part two if you guys want to see that. Okay, guys. So we have this one. It's in great condition. So we want to preserve it in that way. So we're going to be putting it inside of this little sleeve right here, just like that. I got these a little bit big in case we have some bigger magazines, some discs, anything like that. Because what we have to do, just take this little strip piece here. So it's going to give it a nice airtight seal. So that way in the future, there's no like dust or anything like that that can get into it. That looks super clean, just like that. Now we're going to put that inside this and also if we ever want to display it it's as simple as just hooking it on right here to the pegboard or wherever we want so boom we got it in there let's go ahead and add this to the document archive and then we're going to our next magazine so in an earlier video I showed you guys the document archive where we're saving everything like I said like the triple pack covers for DVDs advertisements that I took from Walmart but now we can start adding our magazines in here as well we got a Nick magazine in our documents once we get more Nickelodeon magazines maybe they'll get their own collection set up just like that one those are in a little bit more worn condition just available for reading for people to come in here but these are ones that are mint in a lot better shape and have everything in them all right pulling the next book out no dude this is the introduction in the nickelodeon magazine of jimmy neutron the boy genius that's amazing <laughs> that's a thick one too let's go ahead and get in position and start going through this one this is the last one for this video i got about four more in here if you guys want to go through them we're definitely going to do you remember what this remote does? I think it makes you shrink and grow. Isn't it, doesn't that do like multiple things? I think it does do a few things, but I remember in particular him making stuff shrink and grow. All right, the big brain hits the big screen. Let's go ahead and get into it. My Already gosh. starting out with some, dude, that looks like your brother. Yeah. <laughs> That's anybody who's white from the 2000s older brother. Yeah. <laughs> he always has some sort of overshirt. That's the symbol of I'm an older brother. <laughs> so my little brother here, he has a regular shirt. And me as the older brother, I've got a flat overshirt. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at this guy in the back. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, I paid so much for my hair to get done for this commercial. But but this is for Spyro, and I actually had this game, Spyro Season of Ice. I literally was one of my first GBA games. Okay, next, what do we got? We have both of these pieces right here. It's not just a Jimmy Neutron video game. It's a playground for the genius in you. I don't know, if you could find him, that'd be sick. Yeah, Shrink Ray. <laughs> shrink Ray, yeah, so Shrink Ray and the remote miniaturizing device. But this is for the Jimmy Neutron video game, the one that's based off of the movie. We actually have that one in the collection right here, the Jimmy the Neutron boy genius movie slash game and I think you can get that game still sealed for about 40 bucks and to me that's an amazing deal because it's probably the most iconic and it's the first one of the Jimmy Neutron games first off you guys haven't already make sure you guys smash the like button because I feel like this is one of the most nostalgic videos yet probably there are so many references in this video so many things we've got to touch on it's been so oh my god 2000s Ronald McDonald he was so terrifying but why did I want to 
want to hang out with them so bad. I kind of thought like, it was still relevant, but Got Milk, that was a very dated thing. Well, not just that. You want to talk about something really dated? Super Size. They don't even have Super Size oh anymore. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, ever since Super Size me. Yeah, but I never noticed that his eyebrows are like the arches. That's disturbing. It is. And now you can't unsee it. All right, let's keep it moving here. All right, so right here we have the Jimmy Neutron advertising with the mazes and like- Got it. Shut up! What? You're not a male genius. I'm not a male genius? Yeah, he's a boy genius. You're not a male <laughs> yeah. genius. You got that uh, that word search? I do. This one's <laughs> rocket run across the middle of it. Yeah. We got the ultra orb right there. And then a bunch of other non-related other stuff we got. Radio Shack. Radio Shack's not even around anymore. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we got Mary Kate Ashley Olsen of, of Holiday of the Sun. They had like countless movies. Over here, we got Wish You Were Here. And we got the Monsters, Inc. advertising. Because the Monsters, Inc. would have been like at its peak right here. This is, this is 2001. I think Monsters, Inc. came out in 2001 or 2002. Oh, and the, just shut up. I'm not even going <laughs> to spend any time here. This is you when you see a maze. Oh, well, <laughs> I already got it. it. Dude, look at this kid's coin. I lost all my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized that. I didn't even realize when I first saw him that he didn't have teeth. <laughs> Whatever we want, party poopers. Dude, that 2000s care cut again. <laughs> oh, they literally just like slapped some freaking gel in there and it just went up. Dude, 2000s white kids dominated the hair industry. Blonde tips to the swoop in the front. All right, we got Concrete Jungle there. We got some Jolly Ranchers ad. It looks like so poorly edited, but that was probably like edgy at the time, you know? Why is there so many mazes in this thing? Why are they so easy? It's the real question. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ridiculous amount of mazes in this thing. <laughs> this one I kind of want to look at though. That is such good advertising. They were such good advertisers and making you have a game involved with the advertisement so that way you remember it way more because this shows you a trail on how to get to what you want. We got all the different video games. We have that one right there, the Rugrats Castle Capers. But not just that, we do have this one too and we have this one on its way very soon for a Nickelodeon GBA video. I'm really excited about and I don't have those rocket power ones they made a lot of rocket power games because it was like running off of the steam of like the Tony Hawk franchise I was thinking that same thing yeah and then it was just like they had to make as much as they wanted because they were getting so much residual sales like okay beat Tony Hawk where's another skateboard game you know? nah, it's, it's shoobies. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see what we got right here the auto rocket dude with those freaking rev up toys I remember these two they would go on like a trail and charge them up no it's a Booklet in a oh book. Oh my god, dude. I love this. I would love to have two of these skateboards right here. That would be so awesome. I wonder if they had the advertisements for the helmets they had. That was a style back then, too. The sleeves. With oh, the had short... two colors? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That is a sick, exclusive Jimmy Neutron shirt. Only available on Nick.com, man. I would have loved that. And we showed that game already. And we have some of these toys like in the, out of the box, but I don't have them in the box. Oh, man. This is what I live for right here is all all the merchandise that came out. We got all the goos right here. We got Life's a Beach, which we have as well in the collection. And we showed Tip Hattie Caper. Man, there's just so many awesome advertisements here. We got freaking Jim Carrey's Grinch, iconic, of course, of the 2000s. Boy, this is a history class, man. You see, all these things, each color does something different. We don't want you thinking, oh, you just put the toothpaste on and it's just one thing. No, this is for fresh breath. This is for healthy gums. This is for strong teeth, okay? Get caught reading. That was what I was. That was not what I was trying to avoid. Not was that age. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not getting caught by nothing. <laughs> I'm not gonna get caught doing nothing. I don't do anything but sit here and watch Camp Laszlo. But right here we got Rugrats, and it's like don't get caught reading ad where it's just showing the mom reading to all the different kids, and that's really awesome because you definitely should read to your kids, especially nowadays. But it's a digital world. It just I think for me, definitely like hearing stories from like my parents and also obviously cartoons. It definitely helped me mentally like develop a lot like creatively. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. So this is pull out wrapping paper. You can pull this out and you get a little square of wrapping paper. They're like, hey, what do we have the most at our disposal? Paper. And there's little comics on the inside. It's a detail. Dude, we have a Kabam freaking comic book. This would have been after the show. I think was already like donezo. So that is awesome that you actually have a little bit of extra content in here. Wow, man. Go to see the film. You get a free gift bag with cool stuff. Sweet tarts, pop tarts, cheese tarts. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. He hasn't become an icon yet, so we gotta put an arrow here. It says Jimmy in theaters this Christmas. Man, he was a premium release. And we got Frogger's back. Because you didn't get tired of Frogger in the arcade. You're like, I want to go across lanes and through tunnels now as a frog. It is not easy dodging traffic. 
especially in LA. Not that I really dodged it. I kind of just hope I'm not tall enough to get hit. Oh my lord. I would kill you for this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm glad I'm worth a big wheel. Dude, that big wheel has Tommy's freaking ball as a wheel. That is the sickest thing I've ever seen. Then right here we have another Rugrats bike. These ones are cool, but that one? That's like, I would literally, we would take everything off of this. We'd take all the GBA games off and it would go up there. Wow. Premium real estate. Yeah, we put the GBA games like, I've been wanting to put something up there. The GBA games, I want to put like in a stack where we can just like grab them out when we need to. But I've been waiting to put something just amazing on top of that arcade machine. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Maybe one day in the history of this channel, we'll find that perfect item that's just like a big piece that can just sit right up there on the arcade machine and be a staple here. I love the games there, but damn, this would be a contender for something that would be uh, either up there or just sitting over there on the side. Wouldn't a clone machine be great? So you could just chew more Trident? <laughs> Dude, do you remember that label? That was the best flavor. I remember this particular flavor being so damn good. And then we got an advertisement. It's kind of interesting here. We got Squidward, Hey Arnold, and Rugrats. Not like a you know group you always see together. <laughs> and I made it with one of my three official images. <laughs> Dude, look over here. We got freaking some Skechers made freaking wheels where they actually made roller skates. Wow, so there's a bunch of games that I thought I was gonna say I'd never even heard of, but actually this one, Cowl the Kangaroo is actually getting a remake right now, which is amazing because I hadn't even heard about him until the remake, to be honest. You wanna have a little chat with little Romeo? <laughs> you wanna meet Zendaya's mom? Tell me that it look like Zendaya a little bit. What the hell? Oh yeah, baby. We know all about Nicktoons racing. We got the freaking machine right over here. Over here we got some more of the advertisements. I'm sure you guys are seeing some other stuff too that's absolutely iconic, but just be able to talk about what we can in this video. Awesome to see all these GBA games. I didn't even know they had some Scooby-Doo games on the GBA. I don't collect that stuff, but I'd love to start picking some of it up. Oh dude, we gotta finish it there with Osmosis Jones, man. Absolute classic. Ryan actually spared you guys of the zip popping scene. But I asked him to add the zip popping scene in the last reference of Osmosis Jones and he spared you guys, but I won't. Ryan played it and put me on the left. Yeah, you like that? You're being forced to watch this. Unless you, unless you skipped a little bit ahead, and I don't blame you. And that's the end of the book right here, man. We finish it up with the Zoo Genius, which is another deep cut. And then at the end here, we got some Tommy Hill figure, baby. You want to look like Harry Potter? Get Pretty these thin rims. They're twins. Parker, they just have glasses on. You just see everybody with glasses, the same person. No, besides that, no, <laughs> like they're twins. They look exactly alike. Ryan, give me glasses. It's triplets. See, you know what you do. It's not the same. You throw Jimmy Glass, you think they're related to. That's just you stereotyping. All right, guys, let's add this one into the collection. All right, so right here we got the Jimmy Neutron book. Like I said, guys, with your old Nickelodeon magazines, I honestly was just trying to get as many as I could. But this one, I aimed for getting high quality, good condition ones. Pretty nice shape. Let's go ahead and seal this guy up. All right, snug fit as well. Go ahead and take off the seal. And then boom, let's lock it down, get all that air out of there. And now we're going to put it inside of this one. That looks so clean, man. It does. Fills me with so much content, knowing that it's in there, that like if anything splashes on this, I mean reasonably, I mean even something hit this because of this thick material right here, it's gonna preserve it in great shape. So let's add this to the document files and that's actually it for this one. You know the drill, scan it. <laughs> All right, so one thing that's special about these containers is that they actually magnetically connect, so that way they can all stay together inside of a group. So we'll put those in there as well to add to the collection. I am loving this catalog of like, you know, documents. And of course, this is just a start of it because you don't have too much, but as we get more documents, we'll organize those as well. All right, guys, smack that like button if you guys haven't already. You like that, give it a nice nasty smack. And also, if you guys wanna see more of these Nickelodeon magazines, make sure you let me know down below because you guys are gonna be the ones deciding that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, make sure smash like button and check out this video screen right here which is the last epic video on the channel it was insane we added so much stuff to the collection i know you're gonna love it i'll see you guys in that video and as always rep pack i'll see you guys in the next one adios Bloop.